Recently, I was involved with a project where we had to, um, you know, take some sheet metal components and then flatten them to DXF, uh, as well as create some some step files as well um, and PDFs as well. So now, you know, how do we do that in Inventor? So the first thing is, if I've got, for instance, an Inventor assembly over here, you'll see I've got a couple of sheet metal components in it. So how do we get these sheet metal components? To be in the you know the, the the file format that we want. So first of all, what I need to do is I'm going to go open up this this part of here as as itself, and you'll see there I've got my sheet metal components. And the first thing I need to do is make sure that there's a flat pattern. Okay, if it's not a flat pattern, then I I'm going to have to create that flat pattern. Now once that flat pattern has been created, uh, one of the outputs that we needed was a um, a DXF. So for DXF. Uh, from a sheet metal component, we can right click and save copy as. What this will allow us to do is save copy as and at the bottom of here you'll see that I can do a DXF, a DWG or a SAT file. So with that DXF over here, I select and I'll click on save. What this will trigger is the flat pattern DXF export options and you can go and choose exactly what's going to be ex exported, uh, the layer name, your object, if it's on or off, the appearance, line type and line weight. And this configuration is very important and very useful when you know exporting out and taking that DXF to a, you know, a, a laser cutter uh, which will then identify maybe by color um, what the bend line in, where the tangents are, what bend down or bend up is. So, you know, if, if the program that you're running your machine on is able to identify these different line, um, well, objects and uh, line types and colors, then, and even the line weight, maybe for someone who's looking at it, just by looking at the different line weights, they know if it's going to be bent up or down, if it's the bend line, etc. Okay, so this is quite nice, and you can go and save that configuration as well. Okay, and then with the geometry, replace splines, have your linear tolerance, and then, you know, maybe merge poly profiles into polyline and rebase geometry first quadrant or trim center lines of the contour. So you've got some, some nice options over here when exporting it out. Once you've done that, you can also select what type of DXF you want to export it. And as I said again, you can save this configuration so you don't have to do this over and over again. Once that's done, select OK, and it goes and saves that DXF out for you. The next thing I had to do was I had to go and save this out as a flat step file. So right clicking on save copy as and you'll notice I don't have a flat step file. So I was, uh, you know, I'd have to go and, and do some exporting. Uh, maybe what I'd do is I'd take the DXF, bring it into uh, AutoCAD, extrude it or even bring it back into Inventor, extrude it and then save that out as a step file. Uh, to be able to to get the the output that I needed, and the third one was just the the PDF. And for that, um, you know, I could go off to my my drawing standard IDW, and then save that as a PDF over there. So let's go create. Okay, let's go to base view. Check my flat pattern, and let's do one is to one. Okay. And OK. Once that's created, I can then go and export this file export to PDF. OK, so there's my PDF. And let's see what options I've got. You know, current sheet, all colors is black, remove object line weight. So you've got a few options over there. Uh, let's go display, publish field in view. But the problem with this is that it's going to be actually bigger than that. So I've actually got to go back here and just make sure that this is all now edit view. Uh, let's make this 1 is to 4, uh, 1 is to 2. Okay, there we go. Okay, so once that's done over there, then I can go to File, Export, PDF, and then Export that. Okay, so now, and there you can see you know how it's going to be exported as. Now, one of the issues with this is that you know, I have a whole bunch of sheet metal components over here. Um, in the project I was doing, it was it was something like uh, 50 parts, and I mean three different, you know, PDFs plus the step, plus the uh, the DXF. 
Yeah, that's this 50 times 3 is 150 uh, different file formats I have to output at. Okay, so so what what I we do have is something called the DXF exporter from Micrographics, um, and in the next video I'll show you how that works and how it is very easy to be able to just take all the sheet metal components and export it to all those different file types in one go. Thanks very much for watching.